So you want to know how I shoot cinematic videos right? Here is how I do it. Okay, come. Ruko, come. Fir se bahut fast ho gaya. Are yaar. Acha se ghumana aise. Pair pe ka pair. Kya mujhe pair pe kaat raha hai? Haath pe kaat raha hai. Dekho. Hey guys, opening fine. My name is Ankit Bhatia and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'll show you exactly how I shoot my videos, some behind the scenes and then the raw clips and then the final edited version, you know, clip by clip everything so that you can learn from it and you can shoot your videos better. Now before I go further and show you how I exactly shoot my videos, I want to talk to you about the which camera I use, which lenses I use and what is the gimbal I use. So the camera I am using right now is Sony A7 Mark III. I always use this camera. I am currently using this camera as well and these are the two lenses i used to shoot cinematic videos this is 85 mm f1.8 lens this is a full frame sony e mount lens and this is 35 mm f1.8 sony e mount lens but this is a crop frame lens but this is very good lens you know it's very lightweight so i only used these two lenses to shoot my cinematic videos unless i want some wide angle shots so i'll use some other lens but this is pretty much everything i use all the time now in terms of gimbal i use zoom crane v2 so for this film i have taken some of the shots handheld and some of the shots using gimbal you will know as you watch the video why i have used handheld shots and why i have taken it on gimbals so i'll show you that now what are the camera settings i use the first thing is you should always use fixed white balance that's it always use fixed white balance because otherwise if you will change the angle of the camera the color shift will happen and it will be very difficult to color grade it later and you will see different colors in the video so always use fixed white balance for example i always use 5000 as my white balance now the next thing you should do is to shoot in higher frame rates if you want to do some slow motion later on for example my camera supports 120 frames per second so i've shot everything in 120 frames per second now i can slow it down speed it up i can do everything so if your camera supports let's say 60 frames per second then start shooting in 60 frames per second so that's it that you should do it now the next thing is always use shutter double the frame rate for example if you're shooting in 60 frames per second then you should use 1 by 120th of second as the shutter if you're shooting in 120 frames per second then you should use 1 by 250th of a second and if you're shooting in 24 frames per second then you should use 1 by 50th of a second so that you will get the natural motion in the video otherwise you will see a lot of jitter in the video so always use shutter double the frame rate now how you can do it either you can use nd filter to compensate it or you can use either aperture or the iso to do it so change your aperture and iso if you don't use nd filters so that your shutter is double the frame rate now before we go further into the video let me talk to you about the sponsor of this video which is filmora filmora is a video editing software which is best for beginners you know if you just want to try out your hands into editing then it's the best option for you because it's easy to use and even good for professionals it does not require any higher laptop configuration and it's much cheaper than other editing software and it has lot of built in features like transitions effects text animation copyright free songs and many more so you can just drag and drop onto your videos and use it now in terms of color grading you also have the option to use luts and it has more than 140 color filters and overlays as well last but not the least you can stabilize your videos and you can do audio editing like background noise removal key framing audio equalization you can do screen recording green screen you can do pretty much everything so just go to the link in the description and download for free now you can go and watch the full video and i hope you learn something out of it watch it right now so this is the first shot and i'm using 85 mm lens to get a nice compression so this time i'm using 35 mm few shots i'm taking with 35 mm and few shots i've taken with 85 mm because this is a close up shot so i need 35 mm let's start it okay So right now I am taking all the shots under exposed to give it a nice feel. So here's just a close up shot with 35 mm. Now this shot I will use as a transition to black and I will try to reveal a new video from the next clip.
and remember always try to take different angles to experiment like here I am using a lower angle so that it gives a nice depth to the video. Again the same technique I am using here to create a simple masking transition which you will see in the final video later on. Whenever you are shooting always try to take a close up shot as well so that you can combine it later in the video. So till this point I'm just trying to build up a story and I'm taking all the shots at home. Now I'll go out and complete the final film. Now I'm taking few shots on gimbal with the 85mm to give a nice smooth buttery footage. You know you should always try to keep a mix of shots like taking few shots on gimbal and taking few shots handheld so that it gives dynamic to the video and it will not look boring. trying to take the shot just like this okay come ruko come fir se bahut fast ho gaya are yaar start 1 2 3 start देखो एक बार So that's the final location we're going to plant the tree and let's take the shots now. So the first shot that I'm going to take is she's just walking here and opening the bag and taking out the tree and then planting it here. That's a fine like that's a sequence I'm going to show. So let's do that and yeah. Yes. अच्छा नहीं आ रहा शॉर्ट क्यों लेट्स चेंज द लेंस थर्टी फाइव एम तो 
Come, come. One, two, three, start. हाथ से करो थोड़ा सा हाथ से दिखाओ थोड़ा हाँ अच्छा दिख रहा है बहुत प्यारा दिख रहा है आप पैर हाथ से हटाओ हाँ हाथ से हटाओ पहले बिट्टी दूर से भी लेना ये शॉट निकालो मिट्टी को फिर से दूर से भी तो लूँगा ना ऑब्वियसली निकालो और वो उसको पीछे वाले को हटाओ दिख रहा है वो पीछे 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 हाँ ये दूर से हाँ ओके दो एक I hope you enjoyed the little behind the scene video. Now let me show you the final version of the film along with music and everything. Just watch it right now.
that's it from the video. I hope you learned something out of it. If you like the video, hit a like button, comment on the video and let me know if you need any suggestion or if you need any help, I'll reply to you and subscribe for future videos and hit the bell notification icon as well so that you don't miss any of my notification for future videos. And with that said, guys, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye. Namaste.